Well, hello there. Are you ready to make a spooky sensory bottle? That's what we're doing at today's Crafter School Special at home. If you picked up a materials bag from the library and took a look inside, you'll see that you've got a bottle, some black glitter, some spooky things, and a package of water beads. Now, if you've never used water beads before, I hope that you've had a chance to hydrate them, as we call it, and get them ready for today's program. What you do with these, this is about one teaspoon of water beads. They're two different kinds. They're black ones and there are clear ones. The clear ones are a little smaller. The black ones are big. And what you needed to do is put these in a container, like a tub, and then add water. And for this amount of beads that I gave you, you should have had three cups of water to get them ready for what we're going to be doing today. Now that's exactly what I have here. I have one teaspoon of water beads and three cups of water, although I've drained the water off. But let me show you what happens when you take this and add water. You get a whole dish full of water beads. Now, if you haven't hydrated yours, then just watch what we're going to do and then go ahead and do the part where you add water and wait till tomorrow to do your bottle. Mine are all set to go. I've drained any excess water off. Um, I have to admit I started these maybe two days ago. And the beads are plastic. And when you put them in water, they plump up and absorb the water. It's crazy how they absorb it. And I added some more water each time to make sure that they were covered. And just before I came in here, I drained them. And I found the easiest way for me to drain them here at the library was to use the dish drainer and just pour the water through there and then put these in here. Um, these beads love to escape. So if you do that, be careful that they don't jump all over. They don't jump on their own, but they're very bouncy. And they aren't a problem really if they get loose because what they'll do is they'll just evaporate and you'll be left with a little bit of plastic, the size that we saw when you got your package. And then you can just vacuum them up. But they are kind of fun to play around with. If you have them in a big enough container, Stick your hand in and just feel it. They're very slippery and cold. And gee, they feel kind of fun, don't they? Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to be transferring these into, oops, I just lost one, into our water bottle. And you can do this by using a spoon. And I'm going to tilt the camera now, maybe see what I'm doing. You don't need to see me do it. But you could spoon them in. One of the reasons I chose the bottles that I did is that they have a fairly wide mouth. So you can just scoop them in. You could try doing them by hand, but it'll take a while. Another thing you could do is you could take a pitcher and pour the beads in there. I haven't tried this, so I hope that it works. Now all my beads are in there. And I'm going to pour them into my bottle. But just to be safe that they don't escape, I'm gonna put my bottle in the tub. And then very carefully, I'm going to Good thing I have that tub. Now you're not gonna to wanna to fill it all the way with those. So I'm gonna stop for right now. But what I do wanna have in there is some water. So I happen to have brought another pitcher for the water and add water to it. And you can 
can see how spooky those are, but we're going to make it a little spookier by taking your bag of creepy critters and things. In there you've got some bones and some bats, some bugs, and some eyeballs. Everybody got one squishy eyeball to plop in there. I'm just gonna add that in. He'll be happier when he gets down in the water. And then there are some, as I said, some bones. And some will float and some will sink. And now they're looking like they all want to float, don't they? That's why I didn't want you to fill your bottle all the way up because we want to be sure we have room for these. And then we also had some glitter. Moms and dads, I apologize. I don't usually use glitter for programs here at the library, but I figured oh, they're gonna be doing this at home. So there is, let me think, three teaspoons of black glitter here. And so it doesn't get all over, my suggestion is, stop. Don't pick up that package of glitter. Don't open it up. Don't pour it into your sensory bottle. It will just make a mess. Instead, keep your bottle with just the water beads, the creepy critters, and water up to the top. And you'll be so much happier. And it will be so much spookier. And that's what we're looking for. So keep watching the video. And I hope your bottle turns out really great. And remember, don't get too scared. Oh! Tilt your bag upside down. Make sure it's shut tight. Tilt it upside down. And with a pair of scissors, we're going to have you snip the edge, just like that. And then make sure you're over your bottle. And then pour your glitter in. And then I'm going to add some more water. And what you can do, there are so many different ways of making sensory bottles. You can make them all with water. You can put other clear liquid sort of things in like uh, clear taro syrup, or you could use baby oil, but I'm sticking with water today. And I'm going to put some more water in. And you can see that the glitter is starting to drift down. The bones are drifting down. I'm going to get my lid and put it on tightly. And I'm going to shake a little bit to get things moving around. And then I'm very carefully going to open it again because I want to have this filled up almost to the top so there isn't any space for air in there. That'll keep things moving. Almost overflowed that. I may tump a little of that out. Just a smidge. That's why it's good to have a tub around so you can pour things into it. Okay, so mine is almost up to the top. I'm going to put that back on. And one suggestion I have, moms and dads, is either getting some heavy duty glue and gluing the top on, or make sure it's on nice and tight, and then get some duct tape and put it around, just once around there, just so it doesn't accidentally open, because I would hate to have it be a mess for me. But 
there's your spooky sensory bottle. Now I should let you know that the white spiders that are in your kit are glow-in-the-dark spiders. So if you put this by a light for a little bit and then take it away from there, you'll find that there are bats and bugs and bones and spiders and that's your spooky sensory bot. It probably would have taken a lot longer for us to do together here at the library but I hope you enjoy it at home. Thank you for tuning in and we'll be back next month with another Crafter School special where we're going to be doing some Resist art. You'll have to tune in to see what that's like. Thank you for joining me. Go spook yourself. <laughs>